Forget your fighter jets and stealth bombers, decommission your ground attack aircraft, lay off your pilots and, with the gentle touch of a command console, switch to autonomous mode. We need as little involvement from squishy human beings as possible because unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, are where the future of aerial warfare is at. The rapid development of unmanned aerial technologies has transformed modern warfare, offering new capabilities and strategic advantages. Many nations have adopted one or another form of UAV for surveillance and communication. And a smaller number of them also operate drones capable of combat. Whether using air-to-ground missiles, laser-guided bombs, or experimental air-to-air -air capability, most of today's aerial missions appear capable of being performed by drones, prompting the question of how long manned military jets might last before they potentially become a historical footnote. The criteria for comparing them remain consistent. Here we aim to highlight the most efficient, capable and combat-ready options. Paying close attention to factors such as performance, endurance, armament and the current status of each given program. Hello all. Welcome to Fun Info Time. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click like button to watch more informative videos. 10. Thai Exungur. Starting a parade of medium altitude long endurance, male, UAVs, Exungur is one of many alternatives to the Reaper. It was produced in Turkey as a further development of smaller predecessors. Exungur is designed for a range of missions, including intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR, ground attack, and maritime patrol. The use of two PD-170 twin turbocharged diesel engines, each producing 170 horsepower, provides several advantages for the Exungur male UAV. The Exungur can reach a maximum service ceiling of 40,000 feet, has an endurance of 50 hours, a data link range exceeding 250 kilometers, and a payload capacity exceeding 750 kilograms, all while maintaining a maximum takeoff weight of 3,300 kilograms. 9. The Chandu GJ2 Wing Long 2. Although only introduced in 2017, the export version of this Chinese drone has already proved itself in several Middle Eastern conflicts in the hands of the United Arab Emirates. Pakistan and Egypt have purchased dozens of them, too. The Wing Long 2 is an improved version of the Wing Long 1 UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle, in the category of male, medium altitude long endurance, designed and manufactured in China by the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, AVIC. The Wing Long 2 UAV male is developed primarily for the export market and is intended for surveillance and aerial reconnaissance missions. The Wing Long 2 UAV male is powered by a turbocharged engine, driving a three-bladed propeller, mounted at the rear section. It can fly during 20 hours and has a maximum speed of 370 km per hour. The Wing Long 2 has an operational radius of 1,500 km and that it is equipped with a satellite communications system and it has a maximum payload capacity of 400 kg. 8. Alte Sokol Alshis The Sokol Alshis is a heavy-class combat drone of Russian origin, the program established in 2011 with the first flight undertaken in 2016 and serial production having begun in 2021. The type is designed to satisfy a Russian requirement for an unmanned medium altitude, long endurance, male, air vehicle for use as a direct combat platform or special mission solution with an eye towards airborne electronic warfare. The aircraft is designed and manufactured by Sokol OKB of Russia. Externally, the aircraft is of conventional twin-engine arrangement with each prop-driven nacelle slung under the shoulder-mounted main plates. As it stands, the air vehicles have an operational range of 6,200 miles and CA fly up to a ceiling of 39,000 feet and it has a maximum capacity of 900 kgs. 9. Birector Kizalema with consideration of a future where air combat will be dominated by unmanned technology, a Bayraktar Kizalelma fighter UAV, being developed fully within Turkish borders, will most certainly play an increasingly important role moving ahead. The Bayraktar Kizalelma fighter UAV will be a force to be reckoned with, specifically given its aggressive maneuvering capability and stealthiness against radar. 
What's more, the Bayraktar Kizalelma fighter UAV will be able to take off and land on short runway aircraft carriers and carry out missions with internally carried munitions. It is expected to operate at a maximum altitude of 30,000 feet, with a combat radius of 500 nautical miles and a 5-hour airborne autonomy. With a payload capacity of 150 kg. With two prototypes already having been constructed, it is anticipated to enter service by 2025. Dot. Six Archer NG India, the armed Archer NG medium altitude long endurance male unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, set to roll out later this year. The Archer NG is equipped with a diverse range of weapon systems, making it a potent weapon platform capable of tackling a variety of missions. The Archer NG, developed by the Aeronautical Development Establishment (AED) of DRDO, the Archer NG promises to strengthen India's aerial surveillance and strike capabilities. The payload of the Archer NG is up to 300 kg. It has four hard points that gives it the flexibility to carry varied combinations of weapon systems depending on requirements to destroy particular types of targets. The Archer NG is also likely to be armed with the 125 kg smart anti-airfield weapon with a range of 100 km. This would enable the Archer NG to undertake missions to disable enemy airfields and target enemy critical infrastructure and other ground targets with precision strikes. Five Bayraktar TB2. The Bayraktar TB2 is a tactical armed UAV system developed and manufactured by Biker. A highly sophisticated design that provides all solutions that operator may need in one integrated system. The system consists of Bayraktar TB2 arm, UAV platform, ground control station, ground data terminal, remote display terminal, advanced base with generator and trailer modules. Thanks to Baker's technological accumulation and capabilities, the entire system is produced indigenously. Bayraktar TB2 is a medium altitude long endurance mail. Capable of conducting intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR, and armed attack missions and it is made by Turkey and primarily intended for the Turkish Armed Forces, over 600 units had been built as of 2023. It is expected to operate at a maximum altitude of 27,000 feet with a combat radius of 120 nautical miles and a 5-hour airborne autonomy, with a payload capacity of 150 kg. Four, Sukhoi S-70 or Kotnik B. Russia's first stealth combat drone is a continuation of an earlier MiG project called SCAT. The Sukhoi S-70 or Kotnik drone is powered by an Alabama 31 turbojet engine and is expected to fly at a top speed of 1,000 km per hour, with a range of 6,000 km. But what differentiates this UAV from other similar aircraft is its size, it can carry almost 3 tons of armament and has an operational range of 6,000 km. Okotnik is designed to function in tandem with the Su-57 5th generation jet fighter and is set to enter into service with the Russian Air Force by 2025. Currently, there are two operational prototypes of Okotnik B. Three. XQ-58A Valkyrie Valkyrie is the next logical step in the evolution of UAVs designed to serve as support to fighter jets, relying on either direct control of its manned peers or onboard AI. It can scout the battlefield, engage the enemy and sacrifice itself to shield manned aircraft. The most impressive part of this whole package is the price, as the drone is supposed to eventually cost just $2 million a piece comparable to a cruise missile and just a tiny fraction of the cost of an actual fighter jet. Dot. Being almost as capable as manned fighters, but with the advantage of being cheap and easily replaceable, allows an army to produce entire swarms of the type, overwhelming any kind of enemy defense. Though still currently in the prototype testing stage, Valkyrie performed its first flight back in 2023. 2. Bay Systems Taranese, Dassault Neuron 
two for one, similar in their features and capabilities but developed separately by a British conglomerate led by defence company Bay Systems and a partnership of European manufacturers led by French Dassault Aviation respectively, these two technology demonstrators are some of the most advanced flying wing stealth UAVs. Their intended purpose was to explore the prospect of delivering up to two tons of well-regulated European explosives in high-threat zones and defending themselves from both ground-based and aerial adversaries. The weight of the Tyrannese is approximately 8 tons. For comparison the empty weight and takeoff weight of the Hawk are 4.45 tons and 9.1 tons. The Tyrannese was, at least initially, supposed to be supersonic. While Neuron's design has an emphasis on functioning in autonomous cooperation with manned aircraft, as a trusty wingman. Both aircraft were successfully tested, achieving their first flights in 2013 and 2012 respectively. One Boeing MQ-28 Ghost Bat Developed by Boeing Australia, the MQ-28 Ghost Bat is a UCAV that incorporates AI and will possess the capability to communicate with 6th generation fighters and bombers. Dot. Boasting a range exceeding 2000 nautical miles and a combat radius of 900 miles, this loyal wingman will be equipped with integrated sensor packages on board to facilitate intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance ISTAR, operations, as well as tactical early warning missions and more. MQ-28 measuring 38 feet long, 11.7 meters, and with a payload capacity of 500 kg. The MQ-28 Ghost Bat is expected to be operational with the Royal Australian Air Force RAF, during the 2024-25 timeframe, with four units already having been constructed. The United States Air Force is also considering acquiring the system.